All right, welcome back to another Python video. This is going to continue some of our basics in Python. I decided to create a new playlist, so depending on when you see this video, if you want to go through the basics of Python tutorial playlist, maybe there'll be more content by the time uh, you see this video. But this will be only the second video in that playlist. And today we're just going to show an example on how to compare some lists. This is inspired by a book that I used when I wanted to learn Python, which I'll have it linked down below. You can go check it out. It's this guy right here, Python Crash Course. It's, as of recording it right now, it's 2150. It's a fantastic book. This example is in that book, but I thought we could do this together because whether or not you want to get the book, you might be interested in learning this. And today we're just going to show loops. Um, hopefully you're familiar with loops. And then we're also going to show the in operator. So the example I have right here is we have a couple lists. We have one called toppings. So you can think of this as maybe we're running some website where a user is going to submit a pizza order and they put a couple toppings and we want to make sure the toppings that they submitted are in our list of toppings that we provide on our pizzas. So I have a toppings list here. We have cheese, pepperoni, green pepper, mushroom, extra cheese, and for fun, I put sprinkles in here. I know that's not a pizza topping. And then down here, we have another list with all of the toppings that a user submitted with their pizza request when they went ahead and ordered. Now, of course, if this is a real world scenario, we're not going to even let the user order toppings that we don't provide, there's going to be some kind of validation there, but this is just an example to show the in operator in Python. So the first thing I want to do is I want to loop through all of the user submitted toppings. We're going to go through each one, one by one, and compare, is this topping in the toppings list above that we provide? So for topping in user submitted, so we're going to loop through all of those, and it's pretty simple. We're just going to do an if statement. So if the topping that we're looking at in the loop, if topping is in the list toppings, then what are we going to do? We're just going to say, um, we're going to add, adding topping. Why is this up here? Get out of here. Topping, and then I'll do a plus, and then the topping value. So if the topping that we're going through in the user submitted list is inside of this toppings list, we're going to print out adding topping, that specific topping. And then else, let's say it's not a topping that we provide for our pizzas, we're going to print out instead invalid topping and then plus topping. Okay, so if it's not in the toppings that we have in this toppings list, it's going to tell the user that's invalid. And notice we're using this in operator, which just is saying, hey, is this value in this iterable, in our case, this list? And if it is, do this. So pretty simple, but it's very powerful. So let's go ahead and run this now. So list.py, and we can see the first topping that they had cheese, it is in our toppings list. So it's okay. We're gonna say adding topping cheese. However, the second one, chocolate, is not a list item in the toppings list. So we say invalid topping chocolate. Adding topping green pepper because that is valid. It's up in this list too. Spinach is invalid because spinach is not found in this toppings list. But this just shows you a way that you can compare two lists and say, hey, are the values in this list also found in this list? And if not, maybe you want to do something with those. I'm going to make a part two video where we're going to use list comprehensions instead of looping through and then if statements and all that to spit us out a new list of all the values that are different. If you're interested in that, feel free to check out that video. I'll try to remember to link it in this video. So that's it for this video. If you want to go check out the other solution where we get a new list of differences with a list comprehension, feel free to check out that video too. And yeah, I hope to see you in a future video.